Hi there, I'm back and we're going to have a, a just a very quick tutorial today, um, freebie, uh, and we're going to look at, let me get my render manager open, there we go, what we're going to have a look at is using emissive objects and radiosity to kind of get a glow, uh, quite a lot of people want to do this where they're making things like um, neon lights, uh, lightsabers, eyes on robots, just little things like that, little on buttons, off buttons. Um, yeah, let's have a crack at it, and it was dead easy. So, first thing we're going to start is just get the scene together. So, we're going to start with a box. I'm going to double click that box to make it editable, and I'm going to remove three sides from that box. It's good practice as well to select all those faces. I'm going to right click and flip the normals so it's all facing inwards. Just going to adjust the camera and then we're going to zoom right in. So, this is kind of our set. Uh, I'm just positioning the camera up, have it as you want it though. So, that's our set done. Um, next thing we need is an object to have some glow on it. Um, let me use a couple of these toruses, which are absolutely massive. Scale them down. There's one, it's probably far too small now. Not too bothered, it's not really a, a modeling tutorial, this one. Uh, it's just just a bit of a quick tip for you. Hopefully you guys can put this to some good use and, and make something cool with it. Um, okay, let's have a go. So I'm gonna, that's it. I'm going to make one of them. I'm going to get the materials on and then I'm going to actually duplicate that up. So the material we need is it's a special and it's a solid color. And the reason we use that one is because you can have the intensity on a solid colour higher than one. So let's have kind of a lime greeny colour. I'm going to crank. Yeah. No, I'm not going to crank that up yet. We'll leave that for now. So I'm going to put that on our torus. Um, now it's just a matter of getting things into position. I'll probably do this on the render, um, setting the camera up. So we're going to add a radius to tag. Now if you follow my tutorials normally you know that I almost always use ambient occlusion. Today we're going to use radiosity. That's kind of it. From here on in we're just tweaking. Um, I'm not even going to save this file because it's so quick to do. So just doing a quick render. Ah, you know what I've forgotten. I always forget this. <clears throat> Turn the camera light off. Because we haven't got a light in the scene it's staying on even though radiosity is kind of lighting our scene in conjunction with this emissive material. Camera light off, another test render. Okay, starting to get somewhere now. I can just see that we're getting a little bit of light from that. Probably you won't be able to see it on the uh, YouTube clip, but let's, let's just make sure we're all happy there. Okay, I'm going to crank up the intensity now on this emissive material to three. I'm going to push this closer to a wall or a floor just so I can see what effect it's actually having on its surroundings. Because if it's right in the middle, obviously, it's going to have to have more influence to affect walls and things like that. So push it right down. To be honest, our box is way too far down. Let's bring it up to our floors somewhere near the torus. Nearly got a little tube then. There we go. Okay, zoom back in now. Let's push that back a little bit. Let's get that on a render. And look at that. Whoa. Um, <laughs> what you see there is the blotchy mess that is radiosity, and it can be a bit of a beast to control. I think the intensity is too high on the uh, solid colour first, so I'm going to put that down to 1.5. Again, it's just trial and error, really. Um, hit the render button again. Okay, so it's still probably too much. I think we can come right back down to one on the solid colour. Okay, so here we go. Right, we should be able to move on in a minute. Yeah, so now we're getting there. You can still see a little bit of blotchiness in. I hope you can see this anyway. I'll, I'll crank the uh, output settings up on the next render so you can see that there's a blotchiness in the render. Uh, I'll show you how to control that in one second. So I'm going to ramp this up to. 1280960 double size, so you should be able to see that a lot better. Um, 
the blotchiness, which you might be able to see better if I render it again, it's not taking too long to render, so... Well, now, I apologise for the noise of my Mac fans, as usual, always kicking out far too much noise. Um, yeah, might be pretty good that, actually. Not too much blotchiness on this one, but there will be. Let's take a duplicate of that. So, I haven't. Apple C, Apple V, duplicate. There we go. Just push it over there a little bit, might rotate it round. And we'll have one more. Apple C, Apple V. And I'm going to freely move this one over there. Rotate it a little bit. Push it back. Just going to duplicate these materials up. So, Apple C, Apple V, and Apple V again. So, I've got three. Change the emissive colour. Green, orange, and I don't know what, like a pinky colour. Yeah, something like that. Again, I'm not, it's not really a tutorial on creating anything in particular. This just deleting the material tags over here from the objects in the object browser, and I'm going to just drag and drop them in the 3D viewport. So now all three of these will emit the light, and it might start to look pretty messy, but we'll see. Not too bad, actually. Um, so you can see how this, these tortoises are, are emitting the colours, and as you move them around, scale them, you get different balances on that. Obviously, you can change the intensity on each material, so it's not quite as much. I'm just messing about here, no real reason. Um, if you find that your renders are blotchy, like I mentioned before, I was hoping this one might come out a little bit blotchy, but it isn't doing. Um, I suppose it is a little bit, you might not be able to see it again. If your renders are coming out blotchy using this method, come into your radiosity tag and crank up these samples, and you could end up very high on these. It does add to render time. I'm going to boost these samples up to 1200. Hit another render, I mean we were only on 9 seconds on the last one, so I could afford to crank them up a bit. And, it is much flatter, you can't probably see that, but as I'm jumping between the two here and there, maybe you can, maybe YouTube's high quality video is good enough that you can see that. But yeah, it's definitely improved matters. Um, so that's how you make glowing um, materials and objects uh, in Cheetah. Uh, do something cool with it, make a lightsaber, I don't know, anything. Show me something cool. Uh, I hope you like this, I hope you find it useful, uh, and I'll be back soon with something else. Thanks a lot, and goodbye.